Hi everybody, it's Tim Stevens with CNET. We're here with the CEO of Avagon to look at a new device you guys are introducing to the market a little bit later this year, early next year. Ed Tang, CEO of Avagon. We've got um, a bit of a jumble of wires here, but it all leads up to this. What is this? This is a, it's a new media platform that we're introducing next year. And one of the core technologies that we've developed at Avagon is this revolutionary display technology. And it's called a virtual retinal display. And what's different about a virtual retinal display versus any other kind of display is that it projects light directly in your eye. We're actually mimicking your natural vision, right? Because objects around us, nothing mm -hmm. is emitting light, nothing is glowing light, right? Everything we see around us is reflected light. And that's why things just seem that much more real, vivid, natural, but most importantly, comfortable. So from a hardware standpoint, how does that compare to something like a traditional virtual reality headset which has something like an LCD in front of your eyes? Right, so LCD panels like LCDs and OLEDs, those are all emissive light. Mm -hmm. So it's very challenging to get emissive light to look really, really good and really comfortable for, for your eye. And by reflecting light in your eye is how we can, how we can mimic that natural vision. And uh, we have a, a really, really interesting approach to, uh, to addressing that issue. And what is that? Uh, we're, using, we're using a brand new micro mirror technology here. Now, I know Google looked into technology like this when they were developing glass, and they ultimately went a different path right. uh, because they had some issues with trying to get the light to focus correctly for right. a wide variety of people. How have you been able to address that? My co-founder is, uh, is a brilliant, brilliant scientist, and so he was able to have uh, some of the best optical design resources. Now, I think there are probably some people who'd be a little bit worried about something beaming an image directly sure. under their eyes. Is yeah. there any concern about eye strain or no, not at all. Or anything like that? Where previously people have tried using lasers, and that's mm -hmm. that's inherently uh, there's some dangers to that. We're mm -hmm. not using any lasers. We're using a very very low power um, light source, and all of this is simply shining a really dim light on uh, on some mirrors. So, from a consumer standpoint, what's the, the the main advantage of this sort of technology over a traditional LCD panel or something like that? you get a completely different level of realism. It's like looking at a TV of a picture of the outside mm. versus looking through a window. Like that's kind of the level of, uh, of difference you see in image quality and image realism. You can stare at it for hours, you can stare at it all day and it feels totally comfortable, unlike staring at a LCD screen where mm. your eyes get tired after an hour. Mm -hmm. So inherently the resolution of this is uh, WXGA, which is 1280 mm. by 800. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is because of the way we send light into your eye, the perceived resolution is incredibly high. So when you get a chance to see it, you'll notice that you don't see any pixelation, any screen door effect, no gaps in the screen. Um, the other interesting thing to point out is not only is the resolution really high, but the frame rate can be extremely high. I mean, this prototype right now can run 240 frames a second. Wow. And we, we're able to push that up if we need to. But would you see this hitting the market maybe as something like a competitor to the Oculus Rift with uh, gaming style applications or maybe more for you know, multimedia style 3D imagery applications? Or We're very focused on the, on the media standpoint right okay. now. There's a lot of interest in Oculus, what mm -hmm. they're doing with the virtual reality. I think it's fantastic. Them trying to bring virtual reality to the mass market. Mm -hmm. And then the other end of the spectrum, you have something like Google Glass, where they're trying to give you that always connected, kind of glanceable display. Right. Um, we're kind of targeting a different market here. We think that... Um, that with the level of experience that we can deliver here, that there is something really interesting, and we're seeing a lot of demand from consumers uh, who want to consume media and games. So go ahead and put it on. <coughs> so what I would encourage you to do is to close one eye and adjust the focus, okay, so we can actually adjust the spacing between your eyes here. You're seeing single image? Yeah, is wow. Is it comfortable? Yep, it is. So go ahead and hold on to that. Okay. Whenever you're, whenever you're ready. Uh, I'm ready. All right, here we go. This is a screenless display. Hmm. The image you're seeing is being projected directly on your retina. You just get an image that is so much more vivid and realistic. But most of all, it's a very comfortable image. So I've spent a fair amount of time wearing uh, the Oculus Rift, and even with the HD version, you can still see some, you know, some amount of pixelization, and there's always a little bit of eye strain involved too, even when you get it adjusted right. But this is very, very comfortable. I mean, the device itself is, is perhaps not the most comfortable thing. Yes. It's rather front heavy. <laughs> but in terms of comfort for my eye, uh, yeah, it is quite comfortable. And uh, yeah, the resolution is, is quite good. And the color is quite good, too. I wish everybody at home was able to see. All right, now we have a new version, or a different version, I guess we should say, of the prototype here, which adds uh, head tracking and slightly different design. But uh, the big difference is this one's got head tracking stuck on the side here. Right, right. right. Yep, it's a slightly different. Uh, prototype based around the same technology. Mm -hmm. We've, we're always continually trying out different sensors and different adjustment mechanisms. Um, so there's just another element that you can uh, you can experience. All right, let's try this guy out. Aha! So what you're seeing is a very very low resolution video, mm -hmm. 
uh, streaming off the internet. Hmm. So now, uh, again, prototype hardware, uh, when might we expect to see something a little bit more finalized? We expect to have a consumer-facing prototype uh, early in quarter one next year. Maybe CES time? Maybe January? CES. We'll see. That'd be great. All right, and thanks very much for bringing this by. It was a pleasure. I can't wait to see the final version. Again, this is Tim Stevens checking out the Avagon Prototype Virtual Retinal Display.